All right, we'll take you live now to Hamilton, where Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is speaking to reporters after touring a quantum computing and software company. Immigration policies like the global talent stream. A number of years ago, about six years ago or so, uh, we heard clearly from high-tech businesses across the country that if uh, we could accelerate their ability to bring in top engineers, top researchers from around the world, they'd expand and grow their base in Canada. So we created the global talent stream uh, that allows people to come in in four, six weeks, uh, depending on how, uh, how quickly we can get it done, uh, and get to work right away. And that advantage of bringing in some of the top minds from around the world is exactly what has been able uh, to lead this, uh, this quantum revolution here in Canada. And of course, the third pillar is commercialization, so that those leading companies can scale up create good jobs and economic growth uh, that benefits all Canadians, which, of course, brings me to why I'm here today. Canada has a tremendous, one-of-a-kind innovation ecosystem that is finding ways to bring quantum technology to market. That's exactly what Xanadu is doing. So today, the federal government is announcing an important investment of about $40 million in Xanadu quantum technologies. This will help them build the world's first photonic-based fault-tolerant quantum computer and scale up their business. Ex support an expected 530 good, high-paying jobs and ensure that Canada continues to punch above its weight when it comes to advancements in this tech. The quantum computer Xanadu is building runs off an advanced computer chip that literally computes at the speed of light. And the reason for that is it actually uses light to function. The same way we have fiber optics that uh, you know, manage all our telecommunications, uh, they're actually running light uh, through the computer chips uh, that allows for both high speed and high efficiency uh, crunching of the data. Like I said, we're at the forefront of this technology and Xanadu is in competition to build the first fault-free quantum computer. I've said that a couple of times. Why is it so important that we talk about a fault-free quantum computer? Uh, you know, we don't really worry about the fault-freeness of our laptops, of our regular computers. Why is it important in quantum? Well, quantum is uh, the holding of simultaneous states at the same time. And quantum functions, quantum waves are constantly collapsing. And if quantum wave collapses, that introduces an error in the system. So you have to do it multiple times and create uh, a linkage so there is redundancy to be able to keep moving with the, the calculations. It's inherent in the nature of quantum that they're collapsing. So having that fault free will actually allow you to do uh, the computations that are actually necessary. It's really, really exciting stuff. The other thing that's really exciting that they've done is uh, they've figured out using photonics, so it's using light in the chips, uh, to do most of the part of the computing that's done here uh, without having to be cooled down to absolute zero. Uh, the cryogenic freezing of most of the quantum computers uh, is a huge cost and a huge burden and really challenging for when you're trying to develop them and experiment them. Uh, so by focusing on only uh, keeping the quantum, uh, the, the photonic sensors down uh, near minus 273 uh, degrees Celsius, you can actually have quantum computers that'll fit in standard server racks uh, that businesses and companies use around the world. The idea of being able to package in quantum computing alongside your traditional computers is where that leverage is going to go. And what Xanadu is doing is world leading and extraordinarily exciting for the future of quantum computing, quantum computing available uh, to, uh, to businesses around the world. Okay, we've been listening in live to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announcing a technology investment, $40 million in Xanadu Quantum Technologies. Uh, this is because the company is set to build the first false fault-free quantum computer.